Justin McLeod lived a lonely existence, far from the eyes of a prime world. Charles Norstad lived in a world of his own and was looking for a way out. You guys ever seen the freak? McLeod? You can let you see him, not up close. Nobody lives like that unless they've got history. Why did you come here? You still do any teaching? Misunderstood, are we? No, I'm just sick of living with three females, all brilliant and the family retard. If it's a matter of money, I can pay you. No, I don't think you can. Buckethead. This is the way it works. Learn or leave because it's of no consequence to me one way or the other. What's he like? Do you like him? Does he like you? Have a good look. Get it over with, and we'll continue. I hate writing. It sucks. I want you to look up ten alternatives for the slang to suck. Why can't I read it silently? Because it's a play, Norstad. You perform it. Well, we don't get a lot of live specimens at the castle, do we, Norstad? Hi, Chuck. Did you ever wonder why men and women are attracted to each other? It's called sex, Norstad. And it's not on your exam. How did it happen? Was it in the war? We're simply interested in finding out the truth. By oh, God, I wish you were. What are you hiding? Is it this? Is this what you see? But if that's all you see, well then, you don't see me. You can't see me. Once in a lifetime, a friendship comes along that will change your life forever. Yes! Genius! <laughs> Mel Gibson. See, he's my tutor, but he's also my friend. The man without a face.